Now we're back to exploring Midjourney. Let me show you the newest update. As far as I know, it was released today. It's the Style Tuner, and it gives you a code that you can use with the style parameter in your image generations. All you need is the command tune, so we need the slash tune, and then you can also impress tab or select it. Let us prompt, for example, I'll make it simple, a comic bear. And I press enter. And this box now should pop up. It explains what it is. So a shareable style tuner based on the prompt. Style directions, you can select that right here. I'll make this 16. So this is going to give me 16 pairs of styles. So whatever you pick here, you have to double it because it gives you always pairs for each style direction. So I'm going to get 32 in total. But be aware that the more you pick, the more it's going to cost you in fast GPU credits. You can pick the default or the raw mode. I'll stick to default here. By the way, I've made a video about style raw. If this is new to you, check my video playlist for Midjourney. And it might take two minutes to generate it all. If you now click on submit, it's going to ask you yet again, do you want to burn these? What is it, 0.15 in my case, GPU credits? I'll just confirm by left clicking. And then you'll get a message right here. So it's being processed. One thing to add is you want to make sure that you're using the latest model 5.2 in my case. So it's only available for this latest model right now. And you also want to have the fast mode active or it's not going to run. Here's the official documentation where it is explained in detail. So yet again, fast mode model version 5.2 is necessary. You can combine that later on using the stylize parameter. I'm going to show you this once we've got our image generations. We've done most of this. We are at step four right here. When all of our style directions are processed, we'll get such a message with a link. And you can see it's a tuna.midjourney.com link, and it's going to give us our style directions on a different page. And here it is now, let us left click on it. You may have to confirm that this website is trusted. In my case I already did that. So here's our initial prompt, the comic bear. We can compare two styles or pick from a grid. When you pick from a grid, you always see the first image in every grid. So it's usually this square that has four image generations per style. And when you use a grid, you only see first image from every Grid. Let us stick to this view and here's what I mean with pairs. So the style direction is numbered and each one has two examples on the left and right and in center is an empty box and you can select the left or the right by left clicking and it's going to give you this style code. So whenever I select one, style is now active. But be aware when you select multiple ones, this is going to change the code because it blends the two styles. Let's scroll through this. Various styles here. More childish, more cute, more dark, more horror, more realistic, more abstract. So it's a wide variety. I've picked 16 just as a reminder. So we have these 16 pairs. Let's just pick one. Maybe this here. Once again, I only have this selected. You can see that right here, one of 16 selected. When you click on this refresh icon next to it, the selected ones will be set to the default. So none are selected. I pick this one and then I copy the entire prompt, including the style parameter and the code. And now I use imagine in this card, paste it and I make it comic eagle, we run it. And here we are now in the documentation. So we've copied our code and we've generated a new image in step seven. And whatever you create here, you can do the usual stuff with it. So upscale it, pan it, zoom out, remix, in painting, out painting, whatever. We can combine codes manually right here. Or as you've seen, we can just select the two styles that we want in our style tuner. You can add the raw style afterwards.
here's our results let's go back to the tuner so it doesn't apply the style perfectly when you do it like this but you can see that it's closer to this style than to the horror style to the left of it if i use that prompt and i make it eagle again it's now going to look extremely different And here it is explained how you can use the stylized parameter in addition to it to have the impact of your style code increased or decreased. Let us go over one of these examples as well. And here's our eagle results. As I said, doesn't look perfectly like our horror example here, number 12 on the left, but it's definitely closer to this style than to the one on the right. Now let us use stylize on top of it. So I'm going to use the same style code yet again and stylize what was it in example 750 was the highest that was used. Let us use that as well here. By the way, 1000 would be the maximum. And now if we look at our example, it's much closer. So it's a similar abstract horror result with more realistic elements. I'm going to link to the documentation so that you can easily find it and read through it yourself. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.